Hi, JNM here with a new tutorial for Blender, and that I will show you how to create this hard surface model in about 5 minutes. So let's get started with the default cube. First I switch to edit mode and select the transform tool. Then I scale this down a bit using the gizmo. That's a good start and then I activate the primitive mode of my free JMesh tools add-on. The link to the GitHub is added to the description below. Ok, we start with a circle primitive and be sure to set the start pause to mesh by pressing the C key because then I can draw the circle centered to the active mesh part. So activate this edge and draw the circle by pressing Ctrl left mouse button. Ok, I want to define the radius of the circle exactly so I click this red indicator and then I type in 140. Ok, nice, now bring this a bit to the outside and press E to extrude it. And then again Ctrl left click to create the cylinder. I want to use this cylinder to slice the box, but I need 5 of them centered to the box in X direction. So what I'm going to do is to add an array modifier. The offset of the modifier is set to relative, but I need a constant offset. I'll come back to this in a minute. So let's select constant offset and I set it to 350 mm. And of course for the X axis. Ok, as I said, I need 5, so I increase the count to 5. And now we have to center it. But I want this centering to be exact, and this can be done by using simple math. I set the X location to minus 700 and you see it is centered. But why? Well, the formula is simple. Count minus 1 divided by 2 and this multiplied by the distance. Let's prove it. I set the count to 6. Minus 1 is 5 divided by 2 is 2.5 and this has to be multiplied with the distance. I do this here directly in the editor and here you see perfectly centered. I think I will add a shortcut for this to my add-on JMesh tools. Alright, let's continue. The first thing I do is to slice, but I don't want the cutters to be deleted, so I uncheck delete after apply. Ok, now I slice, be sure that the cube is the target. And after slicing I go to edit mode and then I scale down the cylinders and now you see why I want the offset to be constant, because I want the cylinders to stay at their locations. And here we see the sliced objects, these are separate objects. And the next thing I want to do is to cut with the cylinders into the new sliced parts. I bring them a bit more to the inside, then I select the new parts in object mode and define them as target by clicking this button. Ok, now I just have to do a difference operation, but this time I want to delete the cutters. So I check again delete after apply and then I click difference. Ok, nice, now we have two objects left. To make them look a bit more crisp I add a bevel. And then we can symmetrize first the box to the positive Y axis. Alright, now we have these indentations and then we can add a mirror modifier by clicking this button. But not for the X axis, we have to set it to Y. So that's the modeling part, now I change to the look dev mode and we can assign materials to the different objects. This dark one is my default material with a principal shader with a dark tone for the base color and for these parts I assign now a steel material, again a principal shader with a lighter tone for the base color, almost white and the metallic are set to 1. Low roughness, very basic, simple stuff. For presentation you can disable the overlays and here in the render properties I like to enable ambient occlusion and bloom. For this we don't need screen space reflections. I like to enable it when I create prototypes that have transparent materials. So guys, that's it for this simple hard surface tutorial. 
For this one I used Blender 2.9 but I can use 2.8 as well. And as I said, the JMesh Tools add-on is free and you can get it from my GitHub page. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and follow me on my Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. Also be my patron, this would be great and I see you in the next one here on JNM.